There shouldn't be any songwriter credit on this because there really is no song. I bought over 445s on eBay. Now I'm going through them, cleaning each one, and looking for lost gems. And the next one I am rather curious about. The artist is called Victor and the Spoils. The A-side, I believe, is I Wish That I Could Make You Love Me. The B-side is Lonely Memory. Uh, I would guess this is from 1969 or 70 or so. Maybe 71, 72? <laughs> so it's from somewhere between 1900 and 2019. Lonely Memory and I Wish That I Could Make You Love Me do not sound very promising song titles as far as subject matter goes. Who cares? But Victor and the Spoils, that's good. That's the best thing about this 45, except for the fact that the B-side, Lonely Memory, was co-written by Tony Bruno. And I just found out who Tony Bruno was a few videos ago and I had one of his 45s. And it was a very, very interesting kind of 45. And I'm curious to hear, he was interesting as a singer mostly, not as a writer. But anyway... There's a little connection here between this video and the other video. So, what to expect from Victor and the Spoils? I love the band name. Um, I wonder if the songs are going to be as wise-ass as the band name. Victor and the Spoils. They don't sound very promising. I wish that I could make you love me. It's not, I mean, I can't imagine a good song being called that. You know what I mean? Lonely memory, I don't know, could be, could be all right, but you never know until you listen. Hmm, more mid sixties ish than I thought. Well, it's not boring like a ballad. I wish that I. But I like the. Yeah. Hmm. Good drive. It's got a beat. You can dance to it. But you wouldn't want to. The world's most boring chords. I do like the beat, the kong kong kong. It's very, very heavy for 1966, six, seven. I like the organ stuff, but I don't know. I don't care for the vocals all that much. I don't care for the song at all. The song is, doesn't even exist. There shouldn't be any songwriter credit on this because there really is no song. It's people playing. It sounds all right, but Whew, that was fast. I am not going to allow this one into my heart. Lonely memory. Ugh. You better salvage this song, Victor. Come on, Spoils, are you listening? One of you, do something. Smash a guitar, punch the drummer or something. Smash the drummer, punch the guitar. Ugh. Man, you have to bring something to the table. For example, a saxophone. <laughs> All right, we have one good thing in this song, and one only. Not an interesting saxophone, but there, any saxophone sounds good. A sax is just like a farfisa organ, like an electric piano, like they always sound cool. Uh, it sounds like they went out to like a big dinner. It's over. The genius thing I was about to say is it sounds like they went out to have a big, nice dinner, like a big Italian dinner somewhere, so they're full of pasta and wine and stuff. And are like, oh, I can hardly move. And then they went to the studio to record a song, and oh, I got a lonely memory. Oh, can we just go home, please? 
Okay, I'm going to say both of these songs by Victor and the Spoils are in the no category. I just was not grabbed by either of them. Found the B-side particularly wanting. Um, the the kind of heavy metal, hard rock, proto thrash beat, <laughs> whatever. On wish that I could make you love me. I like that. Like the pounding kind of <laughs> that was pretty unusual, pretty interesting, but. It didn't take anywhere. It sounds like almost like they lucked on it and didn't know what to do with it. It's kind of a mistake. I'd rather hear somebody else do that. So let's go see if we can figure out any more about Victor and the Spoils and um, see if they had some kind of gigantic career that I'm unaware of. As it turns out, the internet has let me down about this record. I can find no biographical information about Victor and the Spoils. What I do know is this. This 45 came out in 1965, and the A-side is indeed I Wish That I Could Make You Love Me. It was written and produced by Bo Gentry, who had a hand in a bunch of Tommy James and the Shondells hits. Victor and the Spoils released one more 45 in 1966. And I'm not the only one who loves the name, if nothing else. Actually, there are newer artists with names like Victor Spoils and even Victor and the Spoils. The name lives on, even if the bland music doesn't. <laughs> 